hi everyone so today's video is going to be about how to make amazing developer portfolio developer portfolios are gonna be the number one thing that you actually underrate a lot but it matters a lot when you are entering into an industry so today we will understand why you should be having a developer portfolio how you can build a developer portfolio and what exactly goes inside a developer portfolio portfolios allow potential recruiters as well as other collaborators to reach out to you see your work and get in touch with you now what are the disadvantages of having a good developer portfolio only two disadvantages number one it requires a lot of time building a good developer portfolio the second disadvantage most developers who are starting by or already in the industry they don't know what goes inside a good developer portfolio these are the only two disadvantages okay after understanding why should you have a developer portfolio now let's get into like how you can build an amazing developer portfolio as a developer you need to have these four profiles ready all the times number one github you all know what github is and having an amazing profile on github can land you in various good roles second thing is linkedin people hrs can actually discover you on linkedin and when you even start writing things on linkedin related to your job people will start identifying you and you will come across a lot of job opportunities third thing peer list this is a new name in the town for the techies around the globe are now creating their profiles here to showcase their core skill sets on this particular platform the fourth one is very important that is your own custom website where you will be talking from a to z about everything that you have achieved to tell date now let's get into what goes inside developer portfolio five things number one who you are number two your skills and experiences till date whatever you have done third thing your projects all the projects that you have made till date from right away your career started fourth point if you have created any kind of content let it be article let it be videos anywhere whatever you have done till date you need to reference them in your portfolio the last point is your social media links these are five crucial part of any developer portfolio but the majority of the impact is gonna be created by your projects so make sure you have lots of projects in your portfolio when i say projects are gonna be playing important part in your portfolio remember these two points you don't have to have hundreds of projects listed in your particular portfolio all you need to have is three to six good projects that you're very proud of and you have contributed a lot the second thing this projects are gonna be seen by recruiters if recruiters are gonna get impressed by seeing your projects then only keep them in your portfolio and share it with them because many a students and working professional complain we don't have any idea so here are quick examples or quick suggestions for building projects only three i will tell you number one go ahead and build product clones your favorite app pick up your favorite app it can be zomato it can be swiggy it can be uber it can be anything just pick up any favorite app and rebuild it a to z entirely in your own way if you are going to build it maybe revamping the ui maybe revamping the apis maybe revamping some module of it which you like a lot that is the number one part the number two suggestion is go ahead and pick up any freelance project this freelance project can be uh, listed on freelancer can be listed on uh, upworks or anywhere just go ahead pick up a freelance project and get that project done and put it in your portfolio the third suggestion which i which i love the most identify problem statements which are in your surroundings when i say surroundings in your community that can be related to any health issue it can be related to waste management it can be related to bus timing it can be any idea just pick up those ideas which create a lot of a problem in your society community and all build a project for it and submit it to them now let's see few portfolios which are amazing in themselves one of my favorite 
portfolio is Kailash Nath Sir's portfolio. He is the CTO of Zeroda and his portfolio can be found on Nath.in. If you go and check out his particular portfolio, you will find all the open source projects that he's been doing. At the same time, all the blogs and everything uh, about Zeroda and uh, the work culture and the way they develop things is put on uh, Nath.in. Not only that, few international people whose portfolios we love is Bruno Simon and few other people are listed in the uh, links here you can also find these links in the description so here are few tips and tools you can use for making your website portfolio amazing number one make sure you write the content content is everything you should be very proud of the content that you want to showcase to the entire world about yourself once you are done writing your content get it processed through your 10 friends and family members. If they like the content, then finalize it. Take their feedback and finalize that content. Once content is done, go ahead and select a website template. If you are not a web developer, then my suggestion is go to Bootstrap's free templates or Tailwind free templates or free templates in general for developer portfolio and dump all your content there. Third thing, make sure you purchase a custom domain. A custom domain creates a lot of impact as compared to using some uh, using some subdomain. Go ahead, get your custom domain. I'm linking in the description all the tools that can be used for an amazing developer portfolio. The final thing, if you like this entire video, we are in process to create amazing content like this. And every week you will see at least two videos coming out from us. If you like this video, go check out our previous video that is how to do networking like a pro and get a lot of opportunities open for you. The next video is going to be about the top seven paying languages that you should learn in 2023 and beyond. Bye bye guys. Meet you all in the next video. Take care.